welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a little bit of a different kind of video for me. I've seen so many people do so many different versions of this video. I think I saw Live Loves Their Makeup do like products she loves that everyone else hates, products she hates that everyone else loves. I saw like Samantha March do, she, she and Liv like they're always doing these like jumbled up versions of videos and I think they're so fun to watch and just to see like what people are thinking. So I thought I would come up with my own version and I basically decided to make a video called Products Everyone Hates and I Hate Them Too. Um, I just wanted to be a little bit of a negative Nancy, a little bit of a Grinch some would say and talk about some products where I was like, are you for freaking serious right now? Like this is such a load of crap. Some of these products I have owned in the past, some I still have somewhere, but I've been filming like a ton of videos today, so I didn't really feel like grabbing everything that I own. I'm just gonna pop pictures up for you guys, but no, I will disclose if I've owned these products in the past. So if you guys are interested in hearing about products I hate that I think everyone hates, just keep watching. Also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below. Um, I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me, and I hope you will consider subscribing so we can be internet friends. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I did make a list on my phone. I tried to be a little professional here. So the first thing I wanna talk about is something I detest are Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. Now, I will throw it up in the cards. I've tested out so many Too Faced eyeshadow palettes, it's ridiculous. I've tried the Honey palette, the Peanut Butter Jelly palette. I've tried the Peach palette, the Chocolate Bar palette. I've tried, I've given Too Faced its fair chance. And I made a video a little bit ago called Brands I'm Breaking Up With, which I'll also try and link for you guys. So you can check it out. It was a bit of a fun video. I mean, it's all in good fun. Like, I'm honestly not gonna buy anything Too Faced for a really long time, but honestly, I feel like Too Faced is so hit or miss. Their palettes are so ridiculously expensive, and I feel like most of the time people are very disappointed in Too Faced products. Like, that Natural Matte Lovers palette, I'll put a picture up. It came out, I think, this summer. It looked like such a hot mess. I don't think anyone should ever buy any of their holiday collections. All their holiday sets look so badly made. The Nikki Tutorials palette was so disappointing. I'm so glad I didn't pick that palette up because I thought it was super overpriced and it honestly looked exactly like the Vegas Nay palette that they came out with like eons ago. So overall, I just feel like I hate Too Faced palettes and I feel like everyone else does too. So that is my first item. The next thing I wrote down that I wanted to talk about is Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. Now, let me tell you, the hype for ABH liquid lipsticks are unreal. I feel like Amanda Ensing, off the top of my head, I just remember her constantly talking about ABH liquid lipsticks. I feel like maybe also Jaclyn Hill. I'm not 100% sure. I've watched so many YouTube videos where people were like, ABH liquid lipsticks, oh my god, so Hollywood, Se sepia, I think that was the color like Amanda Ensing will always talk about. I'm like, ooh, that's like a poopy brown color. <laughs> like, Anyway, super weird. I mean, they have a range of shades. And then one day I like got suckered in and I think Macy's was having like a sale where they were like 10 bucks a piece. So I bought one ABH lipstick and my God, I will never buy another ABH lipstick again, a liquid lipstick from them. They were so drying, so crackly. I'm such a lover of liquid lipsticks. I was honestly like, what the fuck is this? Like it was so terrible. I bought like a bright like orange red shade and it was just so drying. And I was very disappointed. And honestly, I feel like the more YouTube I've watched, I feel like a lot of people have come out and said they really don't like the ABH liquid lipsticks. And I'm so pumped that more people are talking about how bad those liquid lipsticks are because there's really good liquid lipsticks out there. Like I personally really like Jouer's formula, Kat Von D, Colored Rain. I just tried the Pat McGrath Labs liquid lipsticks. Those are amazing. Like there's so much good liquid lipstick to be had. So ABH was just like, mm, 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 mm. so I would not recommend it. I feel like it's definitely a product I hate and I feel like a lot of people hate it with me. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of trash talking about ABH in this video, probably cause you know, it's fine. There's a lot of things ABH does really well. 
Personally, I have quite a few of their eyeshadow palettes. I think their glow kits are great value. They have blushes. They have so many products in their range. So, of course, a few of them are not going to work out. So, how can I talk about products that everyone hates that I hate too without mentioning the Subculture palette? Now, Subculture palette was like the drama of 2017 as far as just like makeup products go. Like, forget all the controversy and the YouTubers and who was fighting with who and who's not best friends with who but just makeup like that was like, insane I have not seen more videos bashing a product than when it came to subculture it's like the makeup community united and was like this palette sucks I honestly feel kind of bad for people that liked the palette I personally didn't think that mine was good at all like I don't mean to bash ABH I love ABH I think they make some awesome products but boy that palette was a hot mess and I'm so glad they let me return it with no fuss, so that was really great. <laughs> Number four of things that I really hate, that I think everyone hates with me, was Desi and Katie's collab by Dose of Colors. Their eyeshadow palette from their collab with Dose of Colors was so crappy. Like, first of all, one of my shades, or I think one of my shades came broken. That formula felt like shit. Like, I feel bad for people that kept that palette because it was such a shitty palette. And I think it was like a $40 palette. I just remember emailing Dose of Colors saying like, can I please return this palette? And they let me return it. Thank the Lord, because I would have never touched that palette again. I didn't think the pigmentation with that was that great. It was so high maintenance because you had to use your finger to apply some of the shades. And then there was like special instructions. And I'm like, first of all, you did an all glitter palette. Like it was so disappointing. Like I feel like Desi and Katie really put their heart into the palette. And I definitely kept some of the products. Like, I really enjoyed the highlighter. I have the shade Hot Fire from their liquid lipsticks. So I did try to support them, but that eyeshadow palette was so not worth it. So I definitely had to send it back. And I feel like I saw a lot of reviews where people were like, mm, the eyeshadow palette is not that great. I remember specifically thinking, too, Stephanie Nicole reviewed the whole collection. And she, like, ranked, like, the things she liked the best. And I'm pretty sure she didn't rank the eyeshadow palette very high so that I feel like is a really good indication of how well that collab did and it was really weird that the collab was also like 40% off during Black Friday I thought that was really strange that they did that so I don't know if those collections didn't particularly do well for Dose of Colors but that eyeshadow palette is was so disappointing and I was expecting a little bit more from Desi and Katie I'm sure it has nothing to do with them possibly but did you guys think that palette sucked because I honestly thought it was a really bad palette I'm gonna stop now sorry okay ABH glow kit see I'm talking about ABH all the time it's the one that came out I think last year I'm gonna pop a picture of it everyone complained about this palette it was $40 but it came with six highlighters instead of their regular four highlighters and people were ripping into this palette like it was their job. Now, I have most of the glow kits, or I've owned them previously, so I think they're a decent product. I think you're getting such good bang for your buck with those things, because you're getting like four highlighters for $40, which is awesome. But I remember people complaining about the texture. They said it was glittery. They said it was pressed too hard. It was so funny, and I'm like, I don't know why people keep buying this palette because I haven't seen like one good review. I don't think I saw anybody say anything good about that palette. So yeah, that's my opinion on that. So number six of products I hate that I think you hate too are the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipsticks. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how this girl is st still selling lip kits because I swear everyone that reviews those lip kits talk about how drying the formula is but people still keep buying it like granted there's probably a minority of people that can wear really drying liquid lipsticks and it doesn't bother them I feel like there's still a big majority of people that can't handle very drying liquid lipsticks now I feel like I'm pretty good at tolerating 
a pretty dry formula, but my beef with Kylie is that she's charging crazy prices for these things and they're not even that good quality. And pretty sure this was confirmed that Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks are made in the same factory as ColourPop. So like why are you guys paying $15 more for a Kylie liquid lipstick when you can buy a ColourPop one for $6? That's my conundrum there. But personally I tried one of our mini sets and I don't like them. I don't think they're very good. They're extremely dry and the packaging is so cute. It totally suckered me in because I wanted to try it. But honestly, girl, I would say save your money and buy something else. Buy something else. It's fine. You'll be okay. Kylie is going to sleep soundly at night if you don't spend money on her makeup, okay? That girl's got enough Lamborghinis to last her a lifetime. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. I'm so sorry. Okay. So the next item that I hate, that I feel like everyone hates, is the Balm Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. Now, I have tried, I tried one of the, I think I tried the first one, the Meet Mat Matrimony or something. I'll put up a picture. Awful formula, so dry, the shades just muddied together. It was the worst palette ever. Like, it was so horrible. I don't know who is buying the Balm Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, but especially those all matte palettes, I just think the shade selection is awful. They're not even like an affordable brand, really. I mean, they're pretty comparable to anything you find at Sephora. And honestly, I would say if you want an all matte palette, just save your money and buy a Viseart palette. Like, honestly, or a ColourPop palette, just, just buy whichever palette you want and if you don't want to use the shimmers just chuck them because you're still saving money over buying a horrible dry unblendable bomb cosmetics eyeshadow palette so that's all I have to say about that the next thing I feel like I hate that everyone else hates as well are the NYX Elements palettes now these came out sometime a couple of months ago and I feel like there was a little bit of buzz about it everyone was like ooh like look at the fire palette and the water palette and the stone palette I don't know I think they came out with like six of them and everyone was like either like really into it or I saw tons of videos where people were complaining about having to pay $30 for a NYX palette and honestly, such a valid point because who the fuck is paying $30 for NYX eyeshadows? That's like $10 less than a $40 palette. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, NYX should be, like, $20 should be their high-end product. Like, everything should be, they should be trying to stick to under $20. So, I feel like all the reviews I saw, people really didn't like those palettes. And a lot of them, I think, got returned. I personally don't love NYX's eyeshadow formula in general. So I was not attracted to those palettes at all. But I just thought it was so funny that they thought they could, like, get away with charging people $30 for their eyeshadow palettes. Like, really, NYX? Like, really? You really thought so? Anyway, let me know what you guys think. This is a collab, and I honestly feel like this was one of the worst collabs I've ever seen. It's the one with Too Faced and Kat Von D. They came out with this collection called Better Together. Everything was super overpriced. The only thing I wanted in that whole collab was the one red shade in Kat Von D's side of the palette. But you best believe I wasn't gonna spend any money on that palette just for that one red shade. And I feel like red eyeshadows are so in right now. I have that shade 10 times over in my collection. But at the time, it was a pretty unique shade. And I was like, cool, cool red. But honestly, there's nothing that attracted to me that to that palette. I don't know who bought that collaboration. I don't feel like anybody bought that collaboration. I don't think I saw any reviews or any positive buzz about that collection. I thought it was really a step down for Kat Von D to be collabing with a brand like Too Faced. I feel like Too Faced is such like kitty makeup and Kat Von D is so like artistic and sophisticated and grungy and she collabed, it was like, it was like a marshmallow collabing with like a rattlesnake. Like if you can picture that combination, like fuzzy Care Bears and like Batman, you know, fighting crime. Like why? It's like oil and water. They don't go together. Like, I'm sorry. And then it was like based off their pets. Like, I get it. You guys like your pets, but 
I'm not trying to buy an eyeshadow palette that's a representation of your dog, Jared Blandino. Like, I don't understand. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And then, my last item that I hate, that I think most people hate, I'm not gonna say everybody because I know some people still really love traditional lipsticks, but for me, I swear, traditional lipsticks are like a thing of the past. I honestly don't think they're gonna make a comeback. The latest like lipstick collaborations or lipstick launches that I can think of like traditional lipsticks are Anastasia's lipsticks and the L'Oreal Balmain collection. I picked up lipsticks from both of those collections and asked me how many times I've worn those lipsticks. I haven't even touched the L'Oreal ones and as far as the ones from ABH, I have, I maybe used them once or twice and that was the end of that. I just don't love traditional lipsticks. I feel like they're pretty drying, especially in the winter time. I feel like they're so high maintenance because you, you have to keep reapplying them. And honestly, like, ain't nobody got time for that. Like, I barely get through the day reapplying my, like, I don't reapply my lipstick. I do my makeup. I go to work, I come home, that's that. I don't sit there and reapply and I feel like that is such a thing of the past, not really, but kind of. I just love liquid lipsticks. Like I I love liquid lipsticks. I live for liquid lipsticks. I think they do the same thing that a traditional lipstick would do and if you want something a little bit more juicy or more shiny, you can just always add a lip gloss over liquid lipstick versus carrying around a traditional bullet Plus, you know how many times I've left a traditional lipstick in the car in the summertime and it's destroyed the li lipstick? Like, that doesn't happen with liquid lipstick. So, that's like a whole product category. But honestly, I feel like traditional lipsticks are kind of a thing of the past and they're on their way out and I definitely hate them. And I feel like a majority of people on YouTube hate them too. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. It's definitely a little bit different for me. I'm not trying to say that if you like some of these products that you're a terrible person or that I hate you. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun because everyone's doing all these, oh, what I wish was sold at Sephora, what I love that everyone hates. Like there's all these like fun little videos coming out. So I wanted to do something a little bit different and uh, talk about some products I really, really don't like. If you wanna see a part two to this video, definitely go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.